Moving along to other defenses that are going to be upgrading, we will have the Hidden Tesla Level 12. And that is going to cost 16.5 million gold for 17 days. Oh my god, that's a ridiculous timeline. Wowza. What's going on guys? My name is Joe and today we have our first official sneak peek in regards to the Fall 2020 Clash of Clans update. I know you've been waiting for what seems like forever. Now as you can see we are in a developer build today. This is not my real account. I mean my goodness the boat isn't even built so that should be a key indicator. This is not his real account. So we have Town Hall 13 additions and quality of life items that are going to be coming in this update. We're going to start out with a quality of life item that I think is quite possibly one of the biggest changes to the game that has been needed since the addition of the super troops now over here when i refer to these notes it says with this update we are removing the seven day cooldown after you use the super troop so of course we cannot stack super troops no we cannot unlock multiple super troops at the same time but let's say that you like to use the sneaky goblins to farm I like to use the Sneaky Goblins to farm a lot because they are absolutely amazing. And then they go on a seven day cooldown afterwards and we have to wait another week. Well, that is no longer gonna be the case. We can unlock them back to back if we choose to do so. And that's absolutely amazing when it comes to the Super Troops because there could be some options out there that you don't really care for, but you like to use the same one over in repetition. So that is gonna be going away. No more seven day cooldown. That is a massive change. All right, so that was one quality of life change. There are a few others that we're going to talk about later in the video i want to go ahead and knock out the items that you've probably seen on this village so we're going to start out with some of the new levels and additions that are going to be coming to town hall 13 and we're going to start out with archer tower level 19 and it's going to be available for 16 million gold at an update time of 16 days Woohoo! that's a monster Damage per second is going to be 134, and the hit points are going to be 1600. So you got a new level on the Archer Towers. Moving along to other defenses that are going to be upgrading, we will have the Hidden Tesla level 12, and that is going to cost 16.5 million gold for 17 days. Oh my gosh, that's a ridiculous timeline. Wowza. 140 damage per second with a hit points of 1200. Now, this is quite possibly one of the biggest changes for Town Hall 13, and this is going to separate you away from Town Hall 12, and we're going to be adding in Army Camp Level 11. Yes, you heard that right. Army Camp is going to be upgrading to Level 11, which is going to bring your troop housing capacity up to 300. So we get to see all kinds of new variations in the strategies at Town Hall 13, and that is going to cost you exactly 16 million elixir for 16 days upgrade so over two weeks but i mean again that's 300 housing space moving into offensive upgrades i know that you guys out there with the old eagle eye already spotted the new levels on three different troops and that's exactly what's going to be coming to the game now this does not necessarily just apply to town hall 13s this also applies to all you lower town hall levels that have town hall 13s in your clans and you get to request troops so I must introduce you to the addition of wizard level 10 upgrade cost of 15 million elixir upgrade time 15 days with a damage per second of 245 points HP of 250 points and the training cost is going to be 4600 elixir moving on to P.E.K.K.A level 10. 15.5 million elixir upgrade cost with a 15 day upgrade time and 680 damage per second 6700 hit points 32.5 thousand elixir to train so those lower town hall levels be nice to your town hall 13s that's an expensive troop and then we also have giant level 10 at 15 million elixir 15 day upgrade time with a damage per second of 72 points hit points 2000 and a 5000 elixir training cost wow and you guys down at the lower town hall levels thought it was bad on upgrade times <laughs> that is ridiculous let's go ahead and put them into action real fast all right so let's go ahead and hit a base live with the new defenses and the new offensive troop levels and see how we can do against this base now one thing that i forgot to mention in that previous clip was the addition of the 100 pieces of wall for those of you out there that are maxed out like i am and you're seriously ocd those town hall 12 walls can now go away they will be available for you to upgrade all of them and all of your walls will be the same color that's a big thing for a lot of us because they've been driving me crazy for a long time now 
All right, so we're going to start out with a little bit of a warden walk over here on the left side of the screen, and we're doing a Yeti smash. We're just going to keep it simple today and see how those new P.E.K.K.A.s fare up with the Giants and the new Wizards. There's only two Wizards there, so we'll see how it works out. See how strong they are compared to the other ones. All right, looks like we got rid of that uh, Hidden Tesla over there, so let's go ahead and start by dropping our Barb King. Let's go ahead and release some Giants there and some Wizards to start clearing out some buildings on this side as well as deal with that enemy king so we got king on king happening over here oh my goodness this is not going to be pretty come on buddy oh king's ability's got to be used and we need to go ahead and get our earthquake spells down to open up this base please drop them correctly <laughs> please open them up right there we go so we granted access for our giant let's go ahead and place a pekka over here to work and looks like the grand warden's going to be working his way in let's wait for him to take out that cannon and then we're going to bring him into the base looks like our king is gone oh that's not working out all right let's go ahead and bring him in let's drop our yetis let's drop our pekkas let's place our queen and let's go ahead and release our siege barracks why not seems legit right oh man all right we need to hurry up hurry up get the get the rage build down rage build down come on let's drop our jump over here to grant access to the town hall grand warden's ability to save our yeti mites oh my god come on they're getting so distracted right now all right looks like the queen is in there doing very well on her own she's going to take out the enemy queen and our yetis just split on us oh my hot lanta hill <laughs> come on boys you can do it Queen's on this side of the base. Let's go ahead and get ready to drop a rage spell on her. And it looks like our hog riders have been released from the siege barracks. So let's go ahead and get ready with our heal spell. We got the royal champion down to help out our hogs. And let's go ahead and place our heal over there for our hog riders. Come on, royal champion, you can do it. Help the, help the hogs. Help the hogs through the area. Come on. Oh, man, we got a couple bomb towers back there. Oh, my gosh. Queen, get rid of the... All right, good. Queen got rid of the single target on the opposite side. We have to deal with a multi-target and a couple of bomb towers. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Royal Champion, can we get rid of the final defenses here? We got a couple of defenses. Oh, there we go. All right, we got rid of the Archer Tower. We got rid of the Wizard. And we got a Giant over here. Man, why did I have one Giant remaining? <sighs> well, the Pekkas are still alive. That's a good thing, right? These P.E.K.K.A.s look pretty good. They do resemble the Super P.E.K.K.A. on the Builder's Hall side, though. We got 41 seconds remaining and a little bit of cleanup, so we should be successful with taking down this base. I know that there was not any Clan Castle troops, but I wanted to try to see what we could do against the defenses only and just the troops and not adding in any additional indicators or things that could mess this up really bad because you know the addition of some additional troops inside the Clan Castle could have messed this whole thing up. But we were successful with the three-star. I mean, I would hope that I would be able to three-star without Clan Castle troops, but those troops look really, really good. I wonder how they looked down at the lower town hall levels well that was fun <laughs> some janky town hall 13 attacking for you what can i say i'm a little out of practice so anyways that is going to be all of the new additions at town hall 13 is there going to be new stuff in the future we really don't know until they let us know but let's go ahead and get into our quality of life changes we already talked about super troops i'm going to be referring to some of these notes over here to my other screen and one of the big changes that they're going to be making in this particular update is going to be changes to the super cell id now you won't see nothing here because I don't have a ID logged in here. But a lot of you guys out there have multiple accounts just like myself. And if you've ever watched any of my live streams, we normally have to unplug the device that I'm streaming off of when I am trying to change accounts because it shows the email address associated with my account. We don't necessarily want players being able to see that kind of material because then it gives them a target and something that they can try to unlock and hack your accounts. So what they're doing with the Supercell ID is they're going to be adding custom names to your Supercell ID account. Accounts. So instead of showing the email address, you should be able to put a custom name there. In my case, I would do like Joe, Joe version two, Joe version three. That way I know which account I'm going to be logging into. That's actually kind of a big thing for me, especially as a content creator, because I bounce through my accounts quite often. And then also with this, it seems like they're trying to emulate something that they had in the game. I think it might still be there. The old Facebook features or something that some of us might have used in the past. Maybe some of you out there might be using it still, but they're adding profiles and profile pictures pictures to the so uh, supercell id so <laughs> I don't know, man. That's just what they got going on here. You can also add a friends list. So you will have a friends list associated with the Supercell ID that you can play games across Supercell games. So it's not necessarily just Clash of Clans, but you can add friends into the Supercell ID. And if they have multiple games that you play as well, like Clash Royale, Brawl Stars, you'll be able to see who's online and who's playing what game. So instead of playing Clash of Clans by yourself, you should be able to come to Supercell ID and see that your friends are online. They're playing Brawl 
Brawl Stars, and you can jump over to Brawl Stars and play it with them. Now, I don't necessarily know what that's going to look like because they don't have that option here live in the developer build, but that's what they got in the notes. So I'm very interested to see how that develops in the future once they release this update. All right, so moving on from Supercell ID, I want to point out that they are removing the guard button from the game on the heroes. So what they got here, it says the heroes will now always guard the village and will automatically heal after taking a defense. The guard toggle has now been removed. So as you can see here, there is no guard button anymore. We can no longer set them in a posture on top of the altar. I've tried. I've clicked all these buttons trying to figure it out, and I do not believe that we can put them in a stationary position on the altars anymore. But this might be something that I might be overlooking, but that button is going away. I wanted to make you aware of that. All right, so moving on into skins. It looks like they're doing some changes to the skins. Let's go ahead and jump into the skins and see what we have on here right now. So we have all the skins unlocked on the developer build here when it comes to the Pirate Warden and all the other Wardens. It's saying that new tech added to skin functionality to allow cooler, wilder special effects like customized spawn troops, attack hits, smoke effects, etc. So they say that it's got customized spawn troops. Oh my goodness, for real? Let me go back and look at that raid again. Did we actually have some customized troops in there? I might have might have overlooked it. We used the King's ability very early. I gotta look. I'm sorry. I, I might be a little you know, <laughs> kind of breaking away here, but I want to see that King's ability. Was there a custom troop here when we used his ability? All right, see the barbarians? No, no change there. So maybe this might be something that's coming in the live update that's just not available in the build. But apparently, according to this, it says customize spawn troops. That's going to be very interesting. Another change is going to be a change to the user interface inside of the community tab. I don't know how many of you out there actually use this tab or check it often, but the for you tab is going to be removed from the game. So in the past, that was a tab that Supercell shared videos that they felt were worthy or good enough for the general audience and might help you guys out. Now, all we have up here is the news tab, the events tab, and the community tab. And the community tab is comprised of all of the supercell creators that are enrolled in their creator program i'm one of those creators as well so i have the ability to share my videos in this tab i just choose not to like sometimes i forget i don't even remember that this tab exists half the time and it's a little bit of additional work to upload a video here so i might do it in the future i don't really know i don't even know how many of you guys out there actually use this if you do let us know down in the comments below and i might actually pur purposely put a video here just to show you that we can all right so let's go ahead and wrap up a lot of these final notes when it comes to quality of life changes there are some stuff for the builders base so the builders hall beta minions ai improved to reduce randomness of their starting attack position so that might be important for those of you out there that use the beta minions and then also the clock tower boost will no longer pause during maintenance breaks as maintenance will not affect the builders base progress so normally your maintenance base when you have a boost going on the home village a lot of times it will pause during a maintenance break the it appears that the clock tower will no longer pause it will continue to generate through since it doesn't necessarily have any effect according to them and it looks like we got one for visual effects the game engine is now can now render multiple spell effects at once so I guess they're kind of speeding up and improving the game's functionality when it comes to their graphics. And it looks like you can see combinations of heal, jump, rage, poison, invisibility, haste. All these different spell effects will go all hand in hand, apparently, based on their note right here. And then one final note that I want to add in here for those of you guys out there that are under the age of 16. And this is not necessarily going to be a very popular one for those players out there. But according to the notes here, it says... New accounts in the United States created after the release of this update will be asked to enter their age. So naturally, this will be for any new accounts that come out in the future, not accounts right now that are live on the current build of the game. Players under the age of 16 will be identified as young account and will have the following features. Supercell ID will be unavailable. It will not be available to players that are under the age of 16. They hope to introduce a young player compatible version of Supercell ID, but that's going to be in a future update, not this one. And then it also says that clans with younger players will have a more strictly moderated clan chat. So naturally profanity and PII, personal accountability or identifiable information like addresses, phone numbers and stuff like that will be detected and removed by the clan chat automatically. Players will be giving a confirmation pop-up if a link tries to take them outside of the game. And then also, once the player reaches the age of 16, 
the above features will be removed. But this applies to United States-based players, not necessarily any of the other countries that might be viewing. And that's why I saved this information for the end of the video. So that is everything for this sneak peek. Hopefully you were able to get something out of today's video. And if you enjoyed the content, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe if you have not done so already. And if you like watching us every single day, turn on those notifications. If you need any additional video support or you want to see any of my other Town Hall free-to-play series, click one of those links over there. And we will see you in the next one, guys. Take care.